The ratings for the Republican convention are trouncing the Democrat disaster of last week. All as President Trump has taken a 10 point lead over Biden among independents. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what pollsters and pundits have to say about the GOP convention, how it is nothing short of an absolute game changer, and how President Trump is already breaking away from Biden with a massive surge of support among independents. You are not gonna wanna miss this one. Greetings, everyone, patriots all across the globe. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you as always. If this is your first time with us and you're looking for some daily encouragement and optimism, as well as some penetrating analysis to help you make sense of these insane times we're living in. You have found your oasis in this channel. We post two videos a day analyzing current events that allow some super awesome conservative trends so we can all live in the present in light of even better things to come. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to uh, smack that bell and subscribe button. It'll be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel where each and every day we together celebrate the inevitable collapse of left-wing globalism and the unstoppable rise of a new conservative age. Let's start with our video chat question of the day, shall we? What was your favorite part of the GOP convention last night? Let us know in the comments section below. We're only going to be able to scratch the surface in today's video um, covering the first night of the convention. So please share with us your favorite speaker. What was your favorite part of the opening night? Let us know in the comments section below because we are going to find... That last night knocked it out of the park. The rank and file Republican voters absolutely energized and independent voters are coming over to our side in droves. You're gonna absolutely love this. But first, let's give you a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. And that is the makers of this beautiful 2020 Christ the Last Supper coin. Now, you're not going to believe this. This limited edition, highly sought after coin is actually being given away completely for free until it runs out. This is the perfect gift for yourself or for a friend or family member that loves collecting coins. So on the front side, you have a beautiful etched out illustration of Christ. And on the reverse side, it's a perfectly etched out illustration of the Last Supper absolutely beautiful now like i said for a limited time the last supper coins are free so they're going to go fast make sure to click on that link below today before they sell out because once they're out that's it you won't have another opportunity like this again so do not wait make sure to click on that link below or visit their website at sendmejesus.com and include this little blessing in your life today all right gang let's dive right in here wow i mean if the new Trumpian Republican Party was looking to hit a home run in the first night of their convention, I mean, they could not have dreamt of a better night. I mean, by what pundits and pollsters are saying today, just by what they're saying, last night's convention was not just a home run. It was a grand slam. I mean, seriously, gang. Seriously, the GOP, they could not have dreamt of a better start to their convention. So let's start with the ratings, shall we? The ratings are coming in, and we're seeing an absolute blowout in comparison to the Democrat fiasco put on last week. The opening night of the GOP convention drew an audience six times larger than the viewership for the first night of the Democrat cringevention. C-SPAN's live stream drew a viewership of nearly half a million, 440,000 viewers for the Republican Party, which was uh, the convention there, which was significantly larger, astronomically larger than what the Democrats were able to draw, which was barely 76,000. Now, just in terms of viewership, and we'll get more numbers later on today, the GOP convention was blowing the Democrats out of the water. I mean, this is utterly humiliating for the Democrats and their cringe vention. And think about it. They had all of Hollywood on their side. They had the, the entire mainstream Marxist media gaslighting them all week, doing everything they possibly could to spin that monumental disaster into a success. It was hilarious. And now the GOP convention comes in. No Hollywood, no me mainstream media support to prop them up. They drew an audience that was six times the size of what Hollywood and the mainstream media could whip up for that Democrat debacle. Just absolutely amazing. Wonderfully so. Wonderfully. In fact, viewership for the Democrat National Convention, if you did not know, was down nearly 30% from the opening night of their last convention in their horrid 2016 performance. And things were even worse the second night. Viewership imploded nearly 50% 
from their previous convention in 2016 when they went on to lose to the one and only Donald Trump. Gang, you can't spin this. 30% down the first night, 50% down the second night in, in, as compared to the year that they went on to lose. How do you, how do you even spin this? So anyway, the media did everything they could to gaslight that horrific cringevention last night, uh, last week, uh, but to no avail. Just in terms of ratings, the Republican convention has already been a massive success. Let's go on to the substance of the evening. Again, overall reception of the night was that it simply could not be better. Dan Bongino called it a game changer. He called it an amazing and incredible night. It was literally night and day when compared to the Democrat cringe fest. Dick Morris put it best. He called it one hell of a night. And it was. It was moving. It was energizing. It was filled with optimism. And again, a radical contrast from the Democrat convention. It was an amazing celebration of America, whereas the Democrat convention was more like a funeral. It was like this somber and morose and gloomy memorial service. You even had a speaker actually blame Trump for the coronavirus death of her father. I mean, this is not how you win people over to your political side. You need a sense of vision and optimism and celebration that unifies us as Americans. And that is precisely what the Republicans gave their record number of viewers. And we're seeing the results. The pollster Lee Carter said that we're seeing independents really, really resonating with the messages that they heard in last night's convention. It's widely being acknowledged. The speaker lineup was excellent. As Michael Goodwin uh, put it, far from being a party of you know, racism and bigotry as it's constantly portrayed by Democrats and their allies in the mainstream Marxist media. I mean, what do you say? The headline speakers were highly diverse, racially diverse, but they all had a single unifying message, and that was that President Trump and the Republican Party embraced precisely what is so beautiful and wonderful about America. Senator Tim Scott hit the ball out of the park with his speech, again, celebrating rather than condemning our nation. Gone was any hint of this notion that America is systemically racist, whatever the heck that means. Instead, Senator Scott presented himself as proof positive that this nation is good and it seeks the good of all. Now, to put a cherry on top of it all, a caller who identified himself as a lifelong Democrat called into C-SPAN late last night and said, that as of watching that convention, he was going to support the Republicans and vote for Trump in November. A fellow who identified himself as Rick from Ohio told C-SPAN that he was just so impressed at the moral fortitude of the Republican Party, how they put God into everything, how they were celebrating America, and his fellow Democrats, to his demise, or to his you know, shame, were trying to push God out of everything. They were disparaging and disdaining America. And he said he just had it. He just, had, if you're not familiar, Democrats actually took the phrase under God out of some of the recitations of the Pledge of Allegiance during their convention. And while the, again, while the media is doing everything they possibly can to gaslight it, it's just par for the course of an increasingly secularizing political party, not to mention a radically secularized mainstream Marxist media that's attempting to gaslight the Democrats' train wreck that they called a convention. But I'm saving the best for last. Are you tired? You tired of winning yet? <laughs> I, I hope not because it just keeps getting better and better. You ready for this? Check this out. This is from CBS News in their latest poll. Trump has just taken a 10-point lead over Biden among independents. Let that sink in, Gan, because we just completed the first day of the convention. Actually, to be honest, the poll was conducted just after the Democrat National Cringevention, but before the GOP convention began. So we can only imagine what the polls are looking like now. But as of the beginning of this week, President Trump has a massive 10-point advantage over Biden among independents. Now, you would not know this, from looking at the overall poll results. And that's because CBS un incredulously has Biden up 52% over Trump's 42%. Now, they both have Trump and Biden getting the same amount of support among the respective parties. 
Trump has a 10 point vantage over independents. So there is a massive oversampling of Democrats in this poll. It's really pathetic. Joe Hoft over at the Gateway Pundit is arguing that in reality, Trump is most likely up 10 points over Biden. We'll see as the other polls come in during the course of the next couple of weeks. But there's no question that Trump has been surging in the polls of late. Last week, he was at 51% for three straight days with the Rasmussen Daily Presidential Approval uh, tracking poll. And then he's starting this week at 49%. So this is really turning out to be an amazing couple of weeks for President Trump. And if the convention continues along the lines that it started on just last night, this may truly be the beginning of the end of the Biden cringevention candidacy. Now, before you go, make sure you like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And you will definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how armed citizens are rising up in Kenosha to defend businesses from the rioters and looters, all as national gun ownership skyrockets. You're not going to want to miss it. Make sure to click on the link and I will see you over there. God bless.